Previously, what we did was ah! hate this kick, but I hate this kick. I want to use the floor tom. That sounds like shit. So I asked y'all what kind of video you wanted me to make, and I got some responses. I posted and I asked y'all what kind of song do you want to hear and the consensus was Neo Soul Hip Hop Task Game 388 AHMN said hip hop beats with only tape and analog recording no sampling and Mick Green said lo-fi instrumental hip hop track with 388 some drums cheap Casio synth I got some a delay pedal, a delay pedal, delay pedal, Timmy pedal, cheap Casio synth these are great suggestions and let's give it a shot I've remixed this three times now, and yeah, it's late. Remixing analog a lot harder than digital because you gotta rewind it and then do it again. Like, oh, what would it sound like if I pulled it down and pulled that? But it's also like a balancing act. I gotta readjust that, but it's fun. This is fun. I'm slowly losing my mind. One, two, three. Slap in the bass, slap a bass, bass, bass. Alright. It's never good. It ain't perfect, but it's impressionism. Musical impressionism, that's what this is. It's a new genre, dude. It's called one take. In case you're interested, I will walk you through my mix. Again, I don't think it's the world's best mix, but anyhow, I did more carving than usual, and I used all eight tracks, which I like never do. I tried to recover some of the highs that I lost. Well, a lot of the highs. I really tried to, normally I would leave it like au naturel, but since I have eight tracks, I tried to do a lot more carving than normal. Anyways, still don't love the kick sound. Nah, it is what it is. Anyway, soloing stuff and then putting it back into the mix didn't really work. Just like in digital, like if it sounds good solo, that doesn't mean it's going to sound good in your mix. But I was surprised how quickly things could disappear. For instance, I tried to cut like a lot of lows on this track, which is just a cymbal, and it totally disappeared in the mix, which I was surprised about. Play, play, play. I hate music like that. <laughs> the whole time. There's too many things in the mix. Ah! Tried to carve lows as much as possible, just like I would do in digital. I want to get rid of things that aren't there. I have a newfound respect for artists like Washed Out. I think that guy's totally in the box. It just has that vibe, you know. It has it has like that analogy warm vibe. They're just using a computer. I mean, that's it's a hard thing to do. I used a dirt pedal ahead of my bass. I chopped off all the highs, starting at 6.3k. Oh, I chopped out a lot of mid range too. Wow. 1.5, wow. And I boosted the bass, so yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty aggressive. Pretty, 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 Why? pretty good. And then with the kick, I, I boosted a lot of mid-range. But like, there's no hard and fast rules, I just used my ears. There's no method, you know, like with the kick, I, I was surprised that I got the, the sound I was looking for when I boosted the mids. I didn't expect that, I just kind of tried to close my eyes and turn knobs. It's just, it's just a fun experience to, to mix on analog because I'm, 
I grew up using digital stuff and it's so different. Even like when you make a mistake, it's kind of interesting. I have a lot of respect for engineers that did everything on analog because it's also like you have this like wall of noise that you're working with. And no wonder all the engineers that were on analog were so excited when digital came because they had to not have to deal with any of that crap. If you enjoyed this video, I have lots of other videos like this. I'll put one here and I'll put one here.